Hello. Today, uh, the third problem of the booklet about the problems of Uri Avner. Uh, this is uh, still a problem made when he was a teenager at uh, the age of about 14. And it's a nice to mover with a clear mechanism and a, a very nice theme shown. So those who want to solve can begin and I, I, I begin immediately to show the solution. So uh, I recall uh, the here it is A1 to H1, it's white is down here A1 to A8, black is up, the black pawn goes ahead and from from up to down and the white pawn from down to up and we show the jail of the black king all the squares on the d column are controlled by the rook d1 the bishop c5 controls on dc d6 and d4 the knight on e4 controls d6 and f6 the pawn f5 controls on e6 and the queen controls all the squares on the f5 f6 f5 f4 the bishop b1 controls e4 and if the knight moves uh, it will control also f5 the knight on a7 of course doesn't control uh, any square around the king but uh, we can see that it may give a check on c6 in case the pawn moves and we'll see so uh, just to have a look at what happens if in in that position if white plays uh, a neutral move let's say to rook d1 to d2 it doesn't threaten anything but uh, it it gives us uh, opportunity just to to look what happens if the black pawn uh, moves the the black pawn may move to open the line of the rook d8 here it has no real use but just i want to show what happens now if the pawn goes to d6 it closes the line of the rook h6 and then it provokes knight to c6 because the bishop on h1 is not really controlling c6 because of the knight on e4 and the rook now is closed and if the pawn goes to d5 now you have a block of d5 and it allows white to close the line of the rook and you have a mate on d4 by bishop c5 d4 well uh, white has to find the threat and the key of the solution is knight to f6 knight to f6 closes the line of the black rook open the line of the bishop change the way the squares on the d on the d column are controlled by the knight before the key the when the knight was on e4 he controlled d6 now he controls it the knight controls d5 so the threat is bishop if black if black plays a neutral move the threat is bishop d6 so in order to defend to to forbid 
the move bishop d6, black can play the pawn or to d6 or to d5 in order to open the, the, the rook on d8. And we have when the pawn goes to d6, we now have a block of this square. The knight, when, when the knight played on f6, it controlled the d5 square. So now you may have bishop d4. And when the pawn goes to d5, it closes the line of the bishop uh, h1. So you have knight c6. And you can see here an exchange of the mates that are uh, that happened after the the moves of the black pawn before the key when the knight was on e4 when the pawn went to d6 you had a mate by knight c6 because it was closing the rook h6 and after the key you have not on pawn d6 you have not knight c6 but you have bishop d4 before the key when the pawn went to d5 you had bishop d4 because of the block of the d5 square and now after the key on pawn goes to d5 you have knight c6 so the, these two baits are exchanged and this is the, the this is uh, the point in this problem it is, this is the intention of the author to show these uh, exchanged mates and now uh, I'll show the, the, the other variations so the threat is on d6 so rook takes f6 forbids this mate and you have now queen g3 because f5 is controlled by the bishop and f6, and f6 is blocked by the rook a black can play knight takes on f5 gi giving a flight but you have queen takes on f5 also using the, 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 the control of the five by the bishop you have bishop to d5 that closes the line of the rook and allows rook takes d5 and last variation rook to c8 pinning the bishop and the loading knight to d7 so all in all uh, i showed you the the very clear and nice mechanism to obtain the exchange mates a very clear cut problem by a young teenager and uh, the number three of the book of the problems of ori avner you can buy it uh, on the address uh, shown below the the book here the, the the image of the book the picture of the book and uh, have a nice day and let, let let's meet next for uh, another problem thank you very much bye